T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off. Shake it back! Woo! Does that feel good? Yeah! Whoop, whoop! It's just me and you. Woo! Why are you looking so good tonight? What? You been in, uh, on a date or something? You and the Canadian no. boom been out at a Western Sizzler? No, he's not even here. He's there. What happened was is I slept in a braid last night and I didn't do my hair and I got creative. And every time I don't do my hair on this show, y'all say I look pretty. So, fuck it. Welcome, Shake and Bakers, to episode 31 of the Shake and Bake Show with Stevie Fast Jackson, Lights Out 15 champion, Pro Charger Annihilator, Screwblower Destroyer, everything, everything destroyer. Courtney looking hot like she's been on a date. Enders and Lyle probably in the staging lanes. Barnett. He just sent me to play uh, small. Yeah, so uh, sorry this is late. This is kind of thrown together. We're in the midst of a chaotic bomb here at the World Series of Pro Mod. Um, and I have not been to bed in 48 hours, and I'm tired. <laughs> You're going to hear they were supposed to be done with testing at 7. They're still running cars, and my racing rig is parked behind the water box. So about every three minutes for about 20 more minutes, we're going to get interrupted with burnouts and launches. Some of you may like it. Some of you may hate it. I don't care because I can't move my truck. Up. This is the only place I got interweb. So also, that's what this show is. It's a racing show. Yeah, it's a racing show. Um, <laughs> so I, we haven't had a show, and we weren't going to do this because we we're absolutely obliterated and snowed down. The current events at hand, we decided to do the Shake and Wake show. Double C said I absolutely had to do it, um, and it has been a chaotic day for me. I'm covered with every type of fluid that's in an automobile. There uh, is no planet of earth that i would shake and bake on if we did not give the people a show tonight there's no planet that like we may as well quit yeah i um i have no beer i have no whiskey I'm what i'm just like i was doing bottom end on the motor like 30 seconds ago do you like have them at your pit i'm in my pit uh i'm sure i'm gonna see if i if anybody's watching that knows where i'm pitted Spencer's right there <laughs> this might bring me a cold beer and I've lost my telephone, so I don't know where it is, so I can't call anyone. It's been it's been a fun day. Um, so we always start the show with this. Courtney, what have you been up to? Well, I mean, I feel like there's not a lot of space for me in the room with Stevie, Stevie's ego, and no Lyle tonight. So I got to get this out of the way very quickly. Um, no, I, I didn't really have much going on. I've had two weekends at home. I haven't had two weekends at home in ages. I cleaned out my closet. I've been going to the gym. You inspired me. You and Don O'Neill inspired me. I was a little, about a week before the pro race, I was at my largest I've been in probably two years. Just yucky. You just feel gross. Not look gross. You just feel gross. I know, but here's the thing. We always, I know me as, I don't, I'm not an athlete, but I call myself an athlete. You're an I athlete. Work, I work out like I'm an athlete. Yeah. We think that we look bad way before we do. <laughs> like, you know what you were just about to say? You're saying, oh, I felt yucky. Like right now, I've eaten my nothing. clothes were fitting. I, I didn't think you looked big or bad or anything at the last I race. I saw it. Um, but the pro race was unbelievable. Have we had a show since the pro race? We did. We did have a show. We did have a show, yeah. So I'm not here to talk about the race in there. I was talking about personally, y'all inspired me after seeing Don could barely get in the freaking camera shot with his muscles and neck and you slim it all down. I said I was watching the stream this weekend, and I said, Steve, is at fighting weight? He's back to fighting weight. I told y'all in October I was coming, and I told y'all when I come and bring it, I come bring all of it. There's no like this is the brains here and the body's not, and the wills over here. When I come, I come yeah. all the way. I'm uh, the same as you. We've you and I, I think, became friends a lot, like yeah. out of the racetrack because we kind of have the same brain. We may we may run on the same tism spectrum. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, but like, like I'm I'm the same way. I got it a mission. I saw you guys making the changes. My sister's doing the same thing too, and I just yeah. hopped back on it. So I'm on like week four of it. I'm feeling a little bit better. Just a little so bit. Mine was slightly selfish. I decided when I was gonna do it. Uh we started in December. Uh well, we actually I started before that. We did a KTR fitness challenge. KTR, everybody that works here, every employee is eligible, it's free to win. Uh, and I just put up a bunch of money. So what I did is we did it off BMI. We all weighed in. 
Whoever lost the most percentage of BMI at the first of January won five hundred bucks. First of February won five hundred bucks. And that sounds like Lyle doing a burnout. Um, he just said he's on the way. And uh, the person that wins March first gets two thousand dollars cash. So I knew that I was coming in hot. Hey, we got a special guest coming in to the KTR Motorhome. It is none other than. And they cut out. Spencer broke the feed. That's fantastic. Is it me or them? Somebody comment. Am I frozen or are they frozen? It is not you. It is. Okay, it is not me. So here's okay. the thing. Did you did did y'all see all that? No, you were nope. completely frozen the whole time. So your future husband. Your Canadian boom boom just your Canadian boom boom just brought me some some Canadian beer. He did. <laughs> um, anyways, so percentage of BMI. Sorry about my internet. My Starlink's doing all she can. So Jacob came come in, and I thought I was going to kick the shit out of everybody because I lost like three and a half percent of body fat. This is going to be one of those shows, y'all. This is going to be one of them. I think what he's trying to say is he's going to tell us that he won his fitness challenge. He didn't think he was going to win, and then he won it, and then we're going to hear more about it. Oh, man. Matthew, confirm it's not me. There he is. I'm sorry. I'm sure that it's my racetrack internet. It is. I'm sure. Uh, working you out. Cut, you can't cut out at least until Lyle's on here so I can converse with someone. Uh, is it working now? You're good now. Okay. So, anyways, I lost a bunch of percentage by January 1st. Jacob comes in because he's 28 years old and kicks the shit out of me by 2%. So I'm like, all right, bitch, I double down. I'm coming in motherfucking hot. So two, uh, I lost another 1.2% February. He only beat me by two tenths of a percent. But the weigh-in coming up in March, I don't feel good about because I've been on the road for a solid month. So he's probably got a good chance. It's Thank hard. You. Like, Well, he's, he's 28 and I'm old. Ooh, that sounds good. He's, he's 28 and I'm old and I drink Miller Lite and he eats lettuce. So. Well, and also it's just hard on the road. People don't really understand it, but I took, I try really hard on the road and I took the holidays to just like enjoy my life, which I never do. And that shit will catch up with you quick, very quick. But the whole purpose was you asked what I've been up to and I was trying not to talk about racing and I've been really trying to get back on the fitness train. I've been two a day in it. I've been walking slash running slash going to the gym. I'm trying. I'm catching you, Stevie Fast Jackson. I'm coming for your ass. You better come because I've been doing two a days since November. Yeah, so, but I'll be hotter than you even if I did nothing because I'm just a that's girl. True. That's true. But the moral of the story is it's all part of my new shirt, the decision to win. When you decide you're going to win, you got to bring all the chips to the table. You show me as somebody that don't give a shit about their appearance or their uh physical and mental state they're not a good race car driver so all i care about is winning so that's no my it all connects when you feel good you you perform well and things just roll uh chase thank you for that we're going to cover this in depth a little later in the show i want to get lyle on before we tackle uh <laughs> that question uh so what i've been doing <laughs> if uh you guys haven't watched or don't have the internet is i've been racing yeah if uh, you don't know you're under a rock uh we decided um a year ago, really a year ago, I started building the shadow two years ago, but really a year ago, I decided I want to come race again and, uh, getting in the car, getting in Sydney Frigo's car at the U S nationals, um, opened my eyes at how bad I had got at it, uh, since I had been out of the seat. Okay. So, <laughs> Got another special guest. Sorry, I was I was burning the skull bowls down. <laughs> yep. So getting in Spencer, I mean uh, not Spencer, getting in Sydney's car at Indy at the U.S. Nationals kind of showed me how rusty I was at driving the car, how out of shape I was, and how mentally unprepared I was to drive a race car. I went red against Mike Castellano in the first round. Uh, I never was comfortable in the car. We ran okay, but. I just realized that, like, if you're going to do this at the level that you're at, you're not just going to quit for a year and a half and jump back in it and be a superstar when you're 25 pounds overweight and your mind's not in it and you're not ready to go. So that's that's the motivation. Point of the story is come to win. I like it. I think it all matters. And people, like you said, people who say they don't care about it, they no, they don't care about it. What are you doing, Beard? 
Hang on. Let me, let me, let me come back. <laughs> oh, hey, Courtney. Hey, Lyle. Good to see you. I can't wait to give you a hug. Whatever. I've already hugged up. Canadian bacon. Hey, he brought That's me not me. Just saying. He brought me better. some Canadian beer. I am my own person. Okay. So, uh, me and Lyle, since we're at the same place at the same time, and we only have enough kilobytes of internet, we're going to be together. Not we're going to snuggle. Remember when me and you snuggled for one, Stevie, in the in the bat cave? When we dumped beer all over the place, and that's when you liked me and thought I was good looking, and before we started having candy. I just you said like, you were at fight and wait. Oh, you are at fight and wait. Mm. I said that watching the stream. I was on. I said he is at fight and wait again. You could see well, it in your glow when you got out of that car. You are Stevie Fast, and I'm not saying this because I'm a co-host on the show. I'll hate on Stevie Fast. I'll love Stevie Fast. Stevie Fast is motherfucking back. We're back. Lyle, what have you been up to outside of the racing? What's been going on? Beadlock in the world? Beadlock in the world. We beadlocked uh, 66 wheels total at South Georgia, 33 sets. That's guys, a badass. Yeah, guys are ready to kill me. Um, brought not quite that many back, but we have two days worth of UPS deliveries that we have not opened yet uh, at the shop. So we're as busy as we've been in probably the past year. Uh, but outside of that, we've been, well, I was with you all week. Um, I see that some locals here that decided to call me out have used my meme <laughs> to, uh, we're going to get into some call outs and rival nights. Yeah, I got some bit. shit I want to say. Yeah, we're going to call, yeah. we're going to get through the radial deal. Okay. And then we're going to transition I'm, to here. I'm chomping. And then so. we got a few situations that, and egos that need to be addressed. Mm. So if you guys are. This is going to keep happening. All night. So I guess we're just going to do a massive Q&A with me whenever they go um, whenever they go dark. So y'all just put your questions in the comments. Every time they go out, I'll just answer some questions. How about that? She's talking about herself. Cool. <laughs> hey, we're back. we're back. Hey, we're back. I just decided every time y'all go out, every time the internet goes out, we're just going to have a massive Q&A going in the, question, in the comments. Yeah, we'll just that's good. Questions while you're there. Testing will be over with in a minute. The fans will leave and our internet connection will be over. Are people but, there? Yeah. Courtney, today I pulled double duty in your uh, in your second favorite, third, fourth now favorite pro mod driver's car. Kenny Q. I did. How do you know that everyone's lapped Ken Q? Excuse me. What if Kenny? Q okay, okay. So we got any questions? Let's see. They won't come back. Um, I think he was going to talk about Ken Cartuccio being my fourth favorite driver, but I think he's still first, so that's okay. Um, let's see. Right. Let's see. Hello. How's it going? Ooh, there's two. Oh, wow. How's then, going? Sorry about that. Shaking beggars. We see we're still in there. Like it's, it's so messed up that it still thinks we're in there. Yeah, we're going to oh, 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 there we go. So I apologize for this. We were on a remote location. If we and me and Lyle keep kicking it out and it gets too big of a pain in the ass, Courtney can show your boobs or something. Okay. No, nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. All right. So let's get to, so Lyle's been beat locking the world. We're going to talk about our promo. All right. <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about lights out. I can't stay anymore. All right. See y'all in 30 minutes. You're going to be what? It's not going to take 30 minutes. I was just kidding. Go ahead. I don't even know if we have. This is the. It's not the least prepared I've been. It's fucking close. Like I was just tightening up torque converter bolts. Like, at But seven. it doesn't matter. You won the race. We would have had the winner. So you are. It says that your Starlink is not obstructed. So if we keep dropping out, we'll go down and see if Jody's internet's better. All right. So. Donald Long did his Donald Long style of promotion coming into Lights Out, pissed off the entire world, talked a lot of shit, and threw me in the middle of it. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I wasn't talking shit for a long time until I got- You love call. it. I do like I do like that style of promoting, but I wasn't saying I was going to kill anybody until I cranked my car up. I just said, we're coming. Did you know when you fired it up? Yeah. Okay. That son of a gun. That's a- that, Kind of what I Bob Reinhardt KTR motor. You hear that thing? You could. When I start that motor this weekend, you tell me if it sounds like any other one here. Stevie wanted to tell the difference. <laughs> uh, you you just uh, you just you'll be like you'll be able to tell. Uh, but anyway, so I kind of got drugged in the deal. We got the shadow together. We drug it out. Talked a lot of shit. Said we were going to crush everybody. Matt, do you have the clip of me on the top end after testing when I said I was going to crush everybody? I thought that was it. I thought that was the clip. No, but no, actually, I don't have it, but I will find it. It's on my Facebook page. It's on Doug Cooks too. Anyways, we went and tested. Uh, you got you guys didn't know what it ran. First test run was three eighty seven. Second run was three seventy three, and then the third test run it went three sixty flat. But it went three sixty flat at two oh seven, and for a ninety two over three speed car, that's 
getting it. And I, I felt like we had it pretty good. This continues to be the best race car that I've ever touched. Um, it just does what you tell it. And I don't know that it's going to be like that on big tires. Therefore, it's not a woman. It, it's right. It's definitely a man, <clears throat> I think. You don't ever do what you're told. Don't look at me like but that. But I did take it out perfect race car and completely obliterate the body in three days. In the first run. <laughs> it, so, in the first run that I saw it make, well, kind of. It literally just firewall, just torched the firewall. So. The entire inside of the car on fire. Okay. PTSD flashback. <laughs> so that and, and that was very that could have been very similar. Oh uh, yeah. So um, all the competitors from Lights Out really were in my ass. Everybody printed Stevie Who stickers. Yeah, that didn't work out well. Those <laughs> didn't age well, guys. Yeah, but it was so good. Those the story did not <laughs> age well. It was good, but they didn't age well. It was so good. Bumblebee had KTR Who. Everybody was talking shit, and I like that. I had a bunch of people ask me, does that bother you? And I said, no, it doesn't bother me. I like it. I want these guys. If you look at the average ET of RVW at the end of last year. Oh, uh, Jeffrey wants to know if Rob Goss was at Lights Out. Does anybody, did anybody see him there? Okay, hey, if you find my phone, bring it to me. Jeffrey, you want a real beer? Oh, Jeff, we're sorry, we're putting a crank in. Um, Jeff, Jeffrey was wanting to know if Rob Goss was at Lights Out. We didn't see him or hear anything about him after he talked shit about a Buick. Buick yeah, what was that about? Uh huh. Why have not? You connected to the internet or anything ever? Did you see? Did you did you see how much shit Rob Goss I saw talked it. about Buick? I mean, I don't want none of that Buick now. Yeah, I'm the one who sent these <laughs> these things to Matt. I saw it. <laughs> um. <laughs> Nope. nope, didn't make it. Sorry, I didn't make it. At least he's trying. My shit ain't even started. Um, <laughs> but anyways, the shadow shows up, the lights out. The very first test run, we did a massive wheelie. I don't know if Matt's got any uh, footage of that, but I'm talking vertical wheelie. Yeah. Pretty good. Be out of the seat. And not having to pedal. We, how long has it been since you drove a fast radio car? Uh, it's been a long time since I drove any fast car. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Phil Schuler told me, he said, you can tell you're a race car driver. He said, an inexperienced guy would have flipped that one right on over. And I was like, damn, Phil, good hey, compliment. <clears throat> so we set her down pretty easy. And um, we uh, had to buff the front of the fuel cell mount. But it was fine. Listen, it'll buff out. That's well, then after sure. that, of course, my beautiful, perfect car. Um, Uh-oh. No, definitely won't answer that. <laughs> um, I want to be there. You can be you, here. You, you, you I'll be there tomorrow. Well, yeah. tomorrow's too fucking late for this. Anyway, keep going, Stevie. Me and Lyle are going to drink this whole case of beer on this show. Yeah. We're going to drink the whole time we get to what I want to talk about. It's, <laughs> it's going to be good. That's why I'm holding you back. I'm looping you up. Might not be good. Um, so, anyways, massive Willie. Then we overcorrected and spun the tires three times in a row. When we went into Q1, we had not been down the racetrack, which is bad for me. And we're in the first round of the shootout. So what do I have to do? I have to leg her on down through there to the finish line. You did. Matt, show us that beautiful Q1 run. Beautiful bean footage. Y'all are idiots. Which, which one was Q1? The first time we blew up and caught on fire. Uh, let me see. I, I think I got it. Bad. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. You really slowed that down. It's, it's bad. Next okay. time, and this is on me, next time I'm going to give you all the flow stream footage. Kyle, this is nothing against Kyle, but I... That we needed to hear the announcers for because me sitting at home on the couch watching this, you can't even imagine what Al Tucci, because Donald Bong was on the mic for that run. Nope. Nope. Donald was on the mic for that run. Duck was. And it was absolute fucking mayhem, the shit that was coming out of their mouths on that run when you blew that Mark, up. Mark Kumar, you don't. Yeah. What? Yeah, he asked uh, how we keep it straight. So, like, what happened on that deal is that was a brand new development engine that we built uh, for this car to R&D for KTR. And the sleeve settled in the block 3,000. 
head gasket, it pushed it out. It was detonating. Uh, the cylinder to cylinder was not correct yet. We have not run it hard to the finish line yet. Um, normally you take these cars and when you start running them hard, run them to the 330, run them 400 feet and then run them out the back. So we had a lean condition in cylinder number eight. It pushed a head gasket. It actually blow torched a hole through the quarter inch mid plate, burnt all the electronics out of the car, burnt a transmission blanket off of it, burnt me, burnt a, the half the leg off my fire suit, no all shit. the airlines in the car. It actually burnt the inside of the back window. It was, it was a big shitty. time, big time boom. It's literally the same failure. It's that the I had. same thing that Lyle had. The only difference is, is Lyle's caught a fuel line. If I had have caught a fuel line, if there was a fuel line there, it would have been the same thing as Lyle. And I'm going to tell you guys something. Every one of these race cars should have a titanium plate that bolts to the mid plate that covers the, the driver's compartment from the head gasket. Because if that thing can go through quarter inch aluminum and steel like a cutting torch in a quarter of a second, I'm talking to you the hole is this big. It is. We do not need to, we need to do something about that is what I'm getting at. So from now on, Mike, what's funny is the top, the firewall of my car is titanium and it's 032. Did not touch the titanium firewall, just splattered aluminum all over. It will not go through titanium. My car from now on will have two pieces of titanium bolted behind it. It, it was could have been bad. Oh, it was. Really so to answer how you keep the car straight, you can't see anything. I just looked out the hole to see where the wall was at and just tried to keep it straight. Uh, instantly, you're thinking you're going to start sliding around in oil. So, like, you just don't do any driving, really, and try not to hit anything. <laughs> it was bad. No foot on the brakes. let shoot slow you down. In fact, just the run right before I walked in here, mine kicked the whole line off of it down there. Slid and, around. Uh, oh, boy. Who, whose car? Were you in Ken's car? Oh, mine. You were in yours? It didn't hurt anything. It was right at the top. Right as I pulled the chutes, that thing, all of a sudden, I was kind of looking over here at the right. And I'm like, you're like it's, not not, good. it's not, just not good. Nope. So, not drill. get the thing fixed. That was a massive fix. The engine change was not bad. But cleaning all the soot, you got to realize this is a brand new race car. And, like, this is my baby. Oh, how this painful. Thing perfect. Like, it was perfect. <laughs> and it's still, oh, it was emphasis perfect. Emphasis on the was. Now she's just a little weathered, and that's okay. Uh, <laughs> That's oh, okay. Yeah. okay. We'll get there. All right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just a little bit. Yeah. So, um, anyways, we go up for Q2, which is second round of the shootout against Ken Cartuccio. And we had no choice but to lay up. We had no more friends um, with us at the time. And we fattened it up a bunch, went 62 or 3, and Ken beat us. Uh, I was very happy that nothing tore up. Um, went in there, uh, Q4. Three and we had uh, who did we race Q3? I don't know. We legged it on down through there pretty good and went 55, 58, went 58 again. Uh, and you're, then, uh, not Norman, maybe Norman. Yeah. Yeah. Q4 was the big grudge race against the king of the Cheetos and the street in laws and all of that crowd. <laughs> and I, <laughs> that is that's pretty funny. That's okay, pretty so funny. the street in laws in there, all their conglomeration were over there and that was have you ever have you been at a racetrack in a long time seen that much excitement dude i and felt I like extra with my right i don't know if we got any footage of lyle with a special k uh pose there it's good but that grudge race ended up being for way more than twenty thousand, and there was a lot of people at the racetrack I heard, I heard 30 was it more than 30 don't matter i don't it don't matter well, I got to tell you again, ball. as the flow girl, that moment of the race was the highest viewed moment of the entire race. Good. Finals I'm and everything. There, that was the people, highest wouldn't viewed of, people wouldn't get out of the way again, just like they were in a grudge race. I told Phil, I said, Phil, what you want me to do? He said, see how many you can take with him to the 330, would you? I love they that. They signed a waiver. Okay. The second time I stopped the throttle, they all got out of the way, but I was going to see if we could go bowling with fans. Like you, can, you can't stop. The car from racing. That's exactly. You're right. not going to win versus Screwbar. No, you're not. You're not. It's going to come through there. Nope. Uh, Matt, have to learn. Matt, do you have that uh, footage of that beautiful Cheeto Grudge race? As my buddy Robbie Lowry would say, "Thanks for playing." Better luck next time. Yeah, so that was good, uh, and that was exciting. I was actually I wasn't nervous for the race about running against those guys because I mean they got a Pontiac, but 
I was nervous because I haven't been in a group, big grudge race in a while. It's a different moment. Like it it's is. a different deal when you're racing with your money, especially like right now, I don't have any money because I keep blowing up all my shit. Uh, it's a different deal when you're betting money like that versus a, a qualifying runner. What, what were you on the tree there? 80s? Uh, I was 46 or 46. 50, here, I was late. Somebody up here said 002 red versus 86. Oh, I, didn't yeah, know. I don't know. I was late. I put a bunch of time in the delay box. Well, the I point being, he was red. You were whatever you were, and you still he was not 002 out. red. He was 26 red. <laughs> yeah. All I know is the wind light came on. <laughs> All I know is when I left the starting line, I seen a bunch of Cheetos, and at the 216 feet mark, there was no Cheetos left. I wish I had a dollar for every time the word Cheeto was said on the stream. Don, Donald and all those guys, I hope that he's not thin-skinned because they wore him out. Well, you can't be. All the you shit can't you talk, be. All the shit you talk leading up to that race, if you go over there and get your P-Bob kicked back up inside you, you just got to wear it on the chin, son. Yeah, that was uh that that's the thing. If you and that's the biggest thing is that anybody can talk. Mike Decker's gonna get a little piece. Of, never mind. Oh, we were gonna get to that. Uh, yeah, that no, no, stop. Good. Can't talk about it yet. I got questions. All right, we got a question. You got we'll, we'll, you want to pause in this moment? No, mine's for World Series of Pro Mod Rivals night, nice, so that's okay. Okay. You keep telling the story of your mir miraculous comeback. Okay. You want me to just keep talking and just blathering about my big wiener and all that stuff? What did I say last night in our group text? You're allowed to have big wiener this week only. Uh, she said I have I am a big pecker or I have a big pecker. She yeah, Lyle that. didn't even respond to my joke. I sent a ten inch tortilla and said, Lyle, that's three. I got up at two forty five this morning to go to the airport. Courtney, I was asleep. Well, I didn't get and a test I was still at forty five. And I was still up. I was well, trying to I, help I you with the, the metrics. You made me asleep and then I shouldn't text you at two forty five. With the, the metrics of the tortilla the that I'm gonna beat your ass with. Anyway, <laughs> keep going, Stevie. We love we're okay. here for it. We love it. I'm going to tell you one thing. Come Friday, if this meet and greet autograph signing, you, you, let, you let me get a hold of one of them tortillas, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to knock the black off your eyelash. It's going to look me? like that movie Hancock where Absolutely. it takes like a, like a candy bar and kills a guy. When I get done with her, I'm just going to turn around and start fighting Spencer because he's going to be mad about it. No, I said this on another podcast today. And poor Spencer because I've been single a long time and I talk shit to men and women alike. But now I can't talk shit to men as much because there's a man who's like, there i've never really had one but you don't count because i am not afraid to punch you right in the beard yeah. not afraid i tell you what why willie dog used to always say pair of lips to say anything that's right i ain't scared all right so anyways so we get through q4 we crushed a cheeto my confidence is up and we're going into e1 all right i don't even remember who we raced e1 it doesn't matter oh well i did take a picture we raced a uh, pickup truck so this was a pretty dramatic e1 because those guys didn't show so of course, I, I was really eased up to go up there. They were qualified number 16, and they hadn't made a good run yet. I was eased up. We're one pair back, and they're not there yet. So I mean the son of a bitch up. I hit the main, put some timing in it, um, adjusted the rear shocks and stuff. I was like, okay, we got a solo. We're going to go for it. I'm getting ready to hit the starter button, and homeboy comes around the corner. That's a pecker factor when you're racing somebody you know is going to the racetrack. So I'm, I'm all there trying to change the damn ECU map and all this stuff. Ended up. Making a good smooth run. I think it went 58 or 59 uh, against the pickup truck. And we're going into E2, and things are starting to get hot. Because after the first round, it starts to kind of get a little hot. Who are we running E2? I think that's Hold what on, I'm doing. coming. You ran, Norm, you ran, yeah, ran um, Norman, Bryson. Norman Bryson in E2. You were Ronaldo, yeah. Ronaldo, is that how you say the In the first round, how do you say his name? <laughs> That'd be awesome. You got to shave your eyebrows. That shit ain't happening. <laughs> Yeah, no. No. Well, me and Lyle have never been shake and bake show together. This is going to be pretty fun. Yeah, but About you're not, more you're not on the marketing. Role. What does it matter? Right. You should Can let you yourself stop go. being my identity? I'm you still myself. Just let yourself go. Let yourself go. I mean, I'm myself. I'm, just get I'm myself fat. too, and I ain't got no eyebrows. I'm faster when I swim. I'm more aerodynamic. I'm not just going to get fat and ugly because somebody wanted to date me. Ain't happening. You ain't shaving my eyebrows. You ain't touching my face. I'll whoop your ass without the razors. Anyway, oh, I'm, gonna I'm gonna touch your face on Friday with a ten inch tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we over the head with a fucking two by four. Where the guy robs? Whoa! The, where the guy robs the liquor store and he's like, "Your gun versus my Zagnut bar." Yeah. And then he like throws it through the guy. I wish we had that clip. That's I don't awesome. like when y'all are together. Well, I was gonna knock you out with that heat. This is perfect. I'm considering driving to Augusta. Hey, I got a piece of tungsten morning. in my trailer. We can wrap it up. <laughs> oh, I'm not trying to kill her. Lau, <laughs> yeah. Lau, you done skated death once. Try again. 
I'm like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let Stevie yeah. tell us the fucking story. If you're a cat, you don't have nine lives left. No, bud, you're pretty. <laughs> That's <laughs> fair, but if y'all ain't cats, I got more than you. All right, doing. so we get ready to run Norman Bryson in E2, and I have a lot of respect for those guys. They also talk a lot of shit about me. Um, and we, uh, they had went only a hundredth or two behind us. Um, so we didn't take them lightly. We went up there and, and ran it down through there. Matt, anytime. Huh? I was just showing you around there. Uh, I can't believe I lost Yeah, you were 22. Phone. He was 47. I think my telephone's in the bell housing. 55 to 65. Did we go get it? No. Okay. Um, anyway. Anyways, made a good smoky run down through there. It was fun. We enjoyed it and didn't blow anything up. And now, at this moment, as I am turning off the track, I see a pickup truck show up with my engine, with my spare engine. So we sent that engine uh, to Brian Anderson and Anderfab, Chris Barrier, uh, Brian Anderson, and Bob Reinhardt, our KTR engine master engine builder, stayed up for two straight days, welded the block up, welded the head up, hooped it, sleeved it, honed it, valved it, put it, it. it together. So, like, when I came off the track after – E2, I realized that I had a spare engine again. Bad news for the competition. So I think we went 58 against Norman Bryson or something like that. You went 55. I was went say, what? You went 55. You went 55. 55. You went a 55 4. You were 22 on the tree, 55. You were in a 65. Not, not, not a full, right. but like a little. So then we had to run our arch nemesis, the PLR camp with the Chris Daniels mobile, and that thing's been hauling ass. Yeah. Like it'd been running 55, 56. They've been running good. So, like, you start getting to the semis in the RVW area of the world, you start getting pretty fast. Um, we were, we were, I was going to run a 54. I was set to run a 54. Phil Schuler come up in a trailer, and Phil Schuler said, If you don't Ooh. tune this thing up, there's a lot of people in that trailer over there that want you to lose. There's a lot of people that's wearing a lot of hats over there. So we gave her all the herbs and spices in the semis. Oh, oh, see if you got that, Matt. If you got that clip, we definitely want to play that one for fans. I've only got the final left. I didn't have the semi. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, That's yeah, fine. So we ran Chris Daniels. We went 351 to his 358. Um, and uh, that was – he went 57? 57 flat. Uh, and that kind of set us up for the final. We wanted to run Luis in the final. We were actually pulling for Luis uh, over, over Bumblebee. Uh, Luis rolled through the beams. He had just won a 52, uh, the run before that, and that would have been the, the, the finals that everybody wanted. Yeah, he went uh, – oh, yeah, and then we get up to the final. So um, when we ran Jeff Miller, every Jeffrey Barker comes into my lounge, and he tells me, if you go out here and run a 40, I'm going to punch you in the mouth whether you win or not. You're broke. <laughs> you done blown up all your shit. You done flew through the air. Ease this thing up and run a 55 and let's get out of here with 50,000. You didn't do that. I told him I was. You're a liar. He was trying. I was trying. The car just got it early. Oh, it did. It went 9.0 something. 9.09. Yeah, 9.09, six foot. So, I mean, it got it early, right? You got yeah. the 60 foots. And then we sprinkled a little underlay out there. Uh, everybody thinks it burned up. It actually didn't. It pulled uh when I stepped off the gas, it pulled the retainer. I dropped the valve. And when they drop an intake valve at 10,800, it's bad. Let's watch the final. Everybody on the start line's happy. KTR owner, race car owner Stevie Jackson, not happy. You could you could feel that. Like when it let go, I was happy, but I was like, ah. So when I stepped off the gas, it blew up. And I'm talking about it blew up. It blew the whole front end off the car. You couldn't even get out. The flow interview at the end was so cool. Could have got out, but I would have broken what was left of the front end. It, everybody's like flipped out that I couldn't get out of the car. I could get out of the car. <laughs> Just the front end was behind the door. You know, it was wrapped well, it, out of the door. It made for a really cool intro to your top end interview. But blower sideways. I had to climb out the passenger door. Um, you didn't do it very gracefully either. Well, have you ever had a Lenko shifter in your balls? Well, I got a lot of reasons for no on that guy. 
So when you go over the transmission, there's a reverser that's in your balls. So I, you got to kind of get it over never there. Driven a car with a Lincoln. Right. Not because, because I don't have balls. Metaphorically, Courtney has balls. Mm-hmm. She has never balls. Yeah. It's like ant balls. Anyways, thing goes 350. Ties our best run ever. Uh, and it was an awesome outing for our team. I had a Stevie Who sticker on the windshield. It's still on there. I don't know that you could, besides flying through the air, fire slot in the head, and blowing the motor and the body off the car in the final, I don't know that you could – have a better outing no i don't know if you can have a better i tell you i i had some fomo and i i didn't go because of world series of pro mod and pro and flow is actually a good company who wants me to be at home sorry i didn't know what that meant hey guys anyway it i was giving you a compliment y'all can't just sit over there and (laughs) strangle her ass hey just when you talk about it like it's free i'm gonna start calling you street in-laws anyway so you're you got your foaming at the mouth and then what happened I I enjoyed being home, but at the same time, watching it, I, I liked watching it because it felt like the days where I used to watch the duck races on flow and I had to pay for it. And it hasn't felt like that in a really long time to me. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's the Stevie factor. And y'all can tell me I'm swinging from his nuts. I don't care. I'm not because I talk shit to his face. But it felt like it used to feel. And I haven't felt that in a really long time watching those races. And it was cool. It was it was old. very old school yep. duck esque. I duck had it. a lot to do with it. Duck was on the mic talking shit, doing he the interviews. His ass on, off. He worked in. his ass off for this race, and you can tell. Yep. Like that Joker is up. Like him or hate him, he's up at three thirty every morning promoting his business. And like Luis, that is that is hard. Luis made a really great post. I think it was yesterday. He had a picture of Duck up in the tower, and he was like. I call him an asshole to his face. This man's insane. Like all the things, but you cannot outwork this guy. I don't know what his verbiage was, but it was a really cool post from Luis. What's it? What's going? What's going on? I want to be there. Was it what is Rob Goss? Oh, Jeffrey still hadn't found Rob Goss. Oh, okay. Also, I love that you checked in from the winner circle. That was awesome. Thank. You. That was awesome. It's been a long time since I've been able to do that. It's I know it was amazing. So, like, what you guys don't understand. Well, a lot of you do understand it because you follow us. The work that goes into coming back like that is a lot. That's why we didn't just get a piece of crap car and put radials on it. That's why we didn't run existing engines. Uh, that's why we did. We, we started with a fresh sheet of paper because I wanted to come back and win. And, like, this is a hard class, and it's a very abusive class on the equipment, as we can see from yes. the carbon fiber work today. Um but I didn't want to just come out and be a splash, you know, and just, it, it meant a lot you, to our You're never a splash. You can be. Uh, I came out in Indy at U.S. Nationals and splashed it, qualified 11th, and went out first round. Like, that's what happens when you just come mail it in. Um, and, and I want to make sure we're ready to rock. we got a lot of eggs in this basket. We 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 basically clean slated our, our team and started over with new folks this year. That's hard to do. Um, and we had a lot of new equipment and new pieces. So uh, it was it was good, though. I don't know that you can come back talk as much shit as me and Donald Long talk and back it up any better than that. But overall, it was different. So, I, I mean, I, I am going to pat my own back. So, yeah, a couple, a couple weeks ago, I was like, what do we do at the racetrack? Because, like, Georgia hasn't been, and I'll, I'll be the first to admit that I became less and less of a fan of the radio stuff over the past couple of years just because I felt like it lost some thunder. It did. It seemed it like it was fun. Some, and I'm like, you know what? Else. I'm going to try to – we put on a cornhole tournament. Oh, it was badass. And I had no idea what was going to happen, but I'm like, here's what I want to do. We put in some money. Some other guys put in some money. It was I don't know, it was six or 700 bucks to win. I'm like, that'll bring some people. By the time the tournament started, it was $4,000 to win, and there were 96 people playing cornhole. It was awesome. And it was just like it used to be. It was open to the fans. Loud music. Crew people, anybody that wanted to come play cornhole. Golf carts surrounded the pavilion. It was 20 people deep. Like, it was unbelievable. And I hope I can keep that going without bringing in some of the ringers and professional cornhole players and fucking this up for everybody. It was fun enough because it was amateurs playing that were doing good. They would Some of the guys that weren't too good would get with somebody that was good. Yep. It was a random draw deal. You can't just bring, like, your hot rod buddy that's good at cornhole. Yep. So, like, it was really cool. And for any of you on here that – that came to the deal. Yeah, I know it was a, com- a complete clusterfuck at the beginning, but I had no idea that was going to happen. And we 
we learned some things we figured out how to do it better and i promise you in the fall it's going to be a lot better now granted the, the crowd's smaller it may not be as big in the fall but if if we can it just duplicate and lights out next year which i think it's going to be bigger than that it's going to be awesome it was four thousand dollars you could win more money at the cornhole tournament than you could winning 6-0 index that's pretty cool it was badass it was so cool uh all the fans that i talked to i had a blast um, all the sponsors that I talked to, even people that weren't my sponsors, had a blast. Oh, look, we're about to get Slayer a little, our little gizmo. I think what happens is Elon Musk oh, is, oh, 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 I wish oh, I had a oh. screenshot of that one. Oh, me too. <laughs> Wide open space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. What, well, I, what I, I was opening my mouth to say, and now it's regrettable, was I was going to say, also, Lyle, what you should pat yourself on the back for is rallying up the fans and all of that stuff for what Stevie was doing because you did a good job. You could see it on the stream. You being an idiot, kicking your leg up, that sign. People love to see you there. That beard is unrec It is recognizable beyond belief. And I think you did a really, really good job of helping to like make the in-venue situation. But I'm going to take that back since y'all were making fun of me, so I'm going to put that back in my mouth. People are making fun of you. Why do you think that? Because I'm out, I'm out of the loop and I'm sensitive. I want to be there with y'all. Severe FOMO right now. I do. There's not room in this bench seat for you anyway, so you're just better off in Texas. Yeah. Everything is <laughs> in Texas. Okay. That's, that's so, an official tally against you. You got All right. So Shadow, Shadow crushes the field. The Buick, I think, had a banner outing. We ran really good in um, – U.S. Street, right? And then the Buick came out. We had blower air and a Buick hauled ass. Ended up going a personal best of 385. Uh, we really struggled with Timmy Meisner's car all week. Uh, our parking situation was not nice. He was way over that out of the way. Um, and we just never really got a handle on that car um, this week. That thing's a difficult car to run. Uh, he's got big power, um, and we're, we're struggling with it. We I felt like we could have went 59 or 60 in E1. Um but uh, we had a, he had a battery issue that allowed it to not start. Chad Henderson goes to the semis and loses on a baby hole shot. Um, both cars staged at the same time, and he did, he wasn't dead late. He just missed it. Uh, and I think KTR had a really good, um, really good alley. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I will definitely be there. So I was going back to the radio racing, having a revival there and everything going well. Um, I think we've talked Tidwell into getting an RVW car back out. I talked to him for 45 minutes on the phone yesterday. So uh, the plan is to try to get to steel. Um, if we can't get to steel, uh, we will probably definitely have it in Rockingham. Rockingham's 45 minutes from my house, so I'll definitely be there. Um, but the plan is for us to bring an RVW car out and compete the rest of the year. Uh, I saw another cop. I've seen it twice. Okay, um, we have uh, just got news footage coming in that, that Matt has a video that Jeffrey sent over. I don't know what this is, but play it. Uh-oh. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I understood that meme, but I think that's me trying to get out of the car. Oh, my Lord. So. <laughs> I think so. Uh, I, I've seen a couple comments, and it is worth mentioning. Marcus Burt. Uh, Lee White tuned Tommy Human's own Pro 275 Mustang uh, reset the record. They went 60 flat, oh! uh, and it was a pretty bad. And they went 61 right before. It didn't like they just teed one up high and hit it. Like he had been 61 <laughs> or two before that, and then went 60, um, and it was a, a pretty badass run. Arguably, I mean, not to take anything <laughs> away from what you guys did, but arguably the most impressive, if not one of the most impressive runs of the entire week. Oh, for 60 sure. 60 flat and Pro 275 is fucking doing it. And they were getting it. I mean, and they wanted to get it. Like, they know they're going to get They know the Doug's probably going to hang some weight on them or whatnot. I don't know anything about the rules in that class, but they, those guys were going for it. Oh, man. Let's... Can we um? Can we talk about uh, live? Oh, yeah. We, we got to talk about a couple. We got to get a little bit through, uh, through that. Um. I want to talk about Lyle's um, drill team. Special, okay. We'll get that in a second. This is a good topic. We need to get, get through this. <laughs> so I would assume that me being retired from racing for a year and a half, coming back with a brand new car, testing it the week before the race, 
and coming in and smashing the field and winning the whole event would shut up the haters, but no, it is not. We can address it all you want to. Uh, I heard today I'm still loading the old tune-ups from the old days, and it's still working, and Who we still suck. Who cares? I don't give a shit about the haters anymore. I did what I said I was going to do. I beat the shit out of everybody that had the balls to come there. And if you want to shut me up in RVW, you're going to have to get a car and come over there. Because people talking to the internet, shit on the internet, a pair of lips will say anything. Get you a car, put a set of 315s on it, and come show me how to do it. And if you're not going to do that, I don't care about your opinion. That was kind of the scuttlebutt even. I've got a bunch of group texts of people in racing and elite and all the things. And one of the things that I really enjoyed, somebody said, who's not a huge fan of yours. What are y'all looking at? Uh, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're on my laptop. Normally, I got a big screen. Uh, oh. Thank you, Brian. Uh, yep, I was on fire. Yes, I was flying. And yes, we I do love Fig Newtons. They are delicious. Thank you. Sorry to me to cut you off. Anywho, the man who I'm talking about said he respects you, but not a huge fan of yours. He said... Out of nowhere, was the only one talking about the race in this text. He said, I don't give a fuck if you like him or not. He talks shit and backs it up. And I think people forgot that in the year and a half span. And all we had was what we were on. But I, I do feel like this was like, I've said this before on the show, that drag racing results in a, in a sense of fairy tale like storylines. Results always go to storylines. First race back, this is what you needed. I don't have money, and, and I'm not the brokest guy in the field, but I'm definitely not in line with all the rich guys. But those guys will not work harder than our team. No. And that's where it's at. My guys are out there working right now. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> Everybody thinks that we celebrated and partied after lights out. They did not. We were so we, – we started eliminations. We were up at 630 because we were in the lanes at 9. We finished up at 1. We got back to the racetrack at 7 a.m. the next day and worked on the car. No. I'm going to give him a second. Nope. All right. Well, as promised. Okay, Matt's doing it. Never mind. Ah. Okay, there it is. Put back up there, Matt. Fire that thing up. Well, yeah, you yeah, were cut out. You, you were frozen, so Matt was saving me. That's a big one, dude. That's a big old boomer right there. So we converted the car to big tires. We had to fix the body. I sent one guy to Atlanta to RK. I had to go all the way back to KTR in Augusta to build some parts and get some more crap. We sent half the shit down here. My guys pulled into the racetrack last night at 6.30 a.m. I got here at 4. I ran out of, I, got, I about fell asleep and ran out of gas on the side of S75 at 2 a.m. last night. I had to run five miles up the interstate and get gas and go back. It's been a shit show. So, like, winning is hard. <laughs> winning is hard. They're not going to outwork me. God, you've got to start taking video when you do shit like that. Dude, I, I jogged for five miles up I-75 at 2 a.m. That's why you get back to fight and wait before you go to work. <laughs> he did. I had a... I had a backpack with weapons and cash in it. <laughs> I get to the gas station. Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent. I get to the gas station, and the lady's name's Debbie. I said, hey, Miss Debbie, do you have a gas can? She said, no, ma'am, we don't sell gas cans here. I said, well, do you have one that I can borrow? No, mine is not for borrowing. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm stranded on I-75. Do you have anything I can put gas in? No, honey, not my problem. So I said, okay, I'd like to buy a gallon of that windshield washer fluid and a Colt 45. I bought a Colt 45 and a gallon of windshield washer fluid, walked out the door and dumped it out and walked to the gas pump. Miss Debbie comes up and says, you can't pump that in that. That's not OSHA approved. And I was like, well, I'm going to. I said, I'm, I might drink. So here I am chugging back down the interstate. I didn't know if it would crank up on a gallon. So I got a Colt 45 full of low octane and a gallon of windshield washer fluid that's now gas. Cop pulls up. What you doing, son? I'm like, nothing. Going to my car. I said, he said, is that the, your car five miles down the road with the hazard zone? I said, yes, sir. Can you give me a ride? We're not allowed to take civilians unless you're under arrest. What's in that bottle? I was like, gasoline. You want to smell it? So anyways, he wouldn't give me a ride. So I walk on. That's serve. That's serve. I was like, okay. Anyways, so this is this goes on to many more run-ins run with the law enforcement. I got a speeding ticket on the way to Lights Out. I got another speeding ticket on the way to the laundromat at Lights Out. So that's two dingers in one week. And I had a guy who wouldn't give me a ride at 2.30 in the morning. So I got here at 4.30 in the morning. And Lyle can attest, we worked all day and still ain't cranked this piece of junk up. I walked over here at about 
five thirty, knowing we were getting close to need to be time, and he walks around the back of the car, and I was like, <laughs> "You better find some pick me up, dog, because we got a show in two hours, and you look like you could go to bed five hours ago." Law looked at me. He said, "You look bad." <laughs> <laughs> like I did, you did. I ain't been to bed in two days. Damn. So anybody that thinks that winning's easy, just come do it, man. Just come do it. Um, possibly uh, send an email to Don at StevieFast.com and let him know what you're doing, and we may talk about it. We're fixing to get back into the nitrous game because it's going to be fun. Because you just can't handle not having 9,047 things to do. So I've answered this question 8,000 times, and I'll answer it again. Uh, it's Billy Stockland, and Billy Stockland and I are still good friends. We talked via text message this week. Billy Stockland has stepped away from racing uh, right now, and he's running his company. Uh, I really am tired, and I know, I, Justin, I'm not saying that you're do, trying to do this, but I'm really tired of people trying to put me and Billy Stockland against each other like it's a him tuning a car or me tuning the car thing, and one of us can't do it without the other. I'm sick and tired of that because that's what chumps do. Because the reason that you guys are doing that is because you know that when me and Billy Stockland go run a car together, there's nobody on the planet that can beat us. Because if he's tuning it and I'm driving it, we will smash any of you son of a bitches in the world. So everybody trying to create this animosity is to try to create a wedge in there to see if they can break us up. Uh, Billy Stockland is one of my best friends. I accredit nearly all of my big tire success to him. What I learned racing with Billy Stockland, we're using here today. He deserves credit for anything I do in racing as long as I've been racing. Everything in that shadow is my stuff and my tune-up. Would not be where I'm at without Billy Stockland. If Billy called me today and said, hey, Stevie, I want to come tune your car at World Series and Pro Mod. Come on with it, baby. The laptop's in the lounge. And that's that's the way I feel about it. Um, he, he wasn't. Justin commented again saying that's not what he meant. He knows I know that. I know that. But I was just – but a lot of people have said that we yeah. can't win without Billy and we can't win without Phil. Me, Billy, and Phil are a rock star team. Yes, we will win. But no one person's going to stop the deal. Billy's running his company, Step Boy from Racing. I miss him like a day. There you go. There's a stocking company. I miss Billy every day. And uh, I wish Billy was here tuning my car today. I would love to be drinking beer and not having to sit in front of a stupid computer. So you guys quit trying to start that wedge together and get it together. Justin. It's not happening. It's not happening. So I think I need to address that. There's the old blind machinist Dan Parker in the chat. What's up, Dan? Remember <coughs> <laughs> the chat. Fastest blind man on the planet. He right? is the fastest blind man on the planet. We're getting we're getting the the World Series stuff here in a second. Okay. Uh, do you have any winter circle photos that I would like to show? I want to talk about me trying to get my old fat ass on this blower. You got any winter circle photos, Matt? I uploaded a few things. Give me a second to try to see what I got. You got you find standing on the blower. <laughs> so if you guys have watched me radio race or big tire race for a long time, when I win, I normally climb up on the car and get on the blower. That's way harder when the blower's not bolted to the engine anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. She was a bit wonky. It was <laughs> at all. Like you could do. So I told the guys, I was like, this is going to be bad if I get up here. And like the blower falls off, and, I, and the front end's no, not. No, that would have been fucking awesome. Take the windshield out with your ass. Oh, it was already man. half out anyway. But that, yeah, that would have been awesome. I was on while he's loading that. It was amazing. Oh no, 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 she's she is wanting to inflict pain. Did I want you to put some salsa on the tortilla before you fling it at her? There you are. Oh yeah, there I go. Look, Look that's a good looking guy right there. See my little Stevie Who on the windshield. I'm gonna leave that on for the race here if they'll let me. I can stage it through the O and the who. I can see the tree. I got in there today. Now, why are you putting salsa on a tortilla? What did I do to you? Nothing. Figure you might need some spice in your life. Hey. I got plenty. Don't you worry. Just because you're in Texas, you're protected. <laughs> you're going to be here tomorrow. That's the thing. But your <laughs> ass is going to be here tomorrow, and you ain't going to be at a run. And I'll I learned, I'm going to come for your and ass. I learned a few things. I don't know if you saw that leg kick. I, you know what? I'm going to show the leg kick. I'm Everybody sorry, Matt. Matt's Matt, working overtime yet. tonight. I'm so sorry, Not Matt. Yet. We're going to get Late to this yet. in a little bit. we got to definitely address some of the shenanigans. There's Shake and Bake. Woo, look at that, boy. Lyle's looking good. Man, look at that damn shadow. There we go. Tell, me, <laughs> tell me. Tell me. Tell me why a grown-ass man can fucking do that. Don't be jealous because you can't do it. Yeah, I, I mean, can't. My hamstring hurts. You should be able to wrap your legs around the back because of your head, I'm but limber. you can't even do that. 
Listen, don't worry about what my legs can do. They're just I fine. Think, but all I'm saying is he can't. He that's a lot. Up. I punted in college. Like I went to I went it's to college me. and played college Lyle's, football to punt. Lyle's flexible from kicking people's ass. You yeah. get mobility. Work on the mobility. It'll help you with your lifting. Yeah, so I, mean, I don't know if anybody in the comments is from Texas, but Erica real. Erica yeah. made a funny and yeah. it didn't end up being funny. Y'all just chuckle fuck over there. It's it, 24 I'll hours. just I'll just hush. When you land, drive to my pit. Spot five. Can we can we all three fight? Can we just fight? La, look at me. Look at me. I go like the result is what I'm telling you. What I was going to say was Erica thought she was making a funny. She said he could try out for the Kilgore Rangerettes, which is like the greatest drill team in the country. Joke didn't land because nobody else in the group text was from Texas. Yeah, I have Erica. no idea what that er means. It, well, if she said something to you, she told me she texted you about asking if it hurt your hamstring or something. <laughs> Terry Cole. Terry Cole says, I like how at Bradenton you got on the Don for using a blue rag on the hood. And I did. I was like, don't scratch that shit. Don't use a blue rag. Then you get to Georgia and blow the front end off. I thought about how much difference a few days makes. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got the Shadow, dude, I am—I have never had a car this expensive, and I have never had a car this nice. I would not let any of my guys touch it. I wouldn't let them take the front end off of it. Like if I made sure every rag was clean, like we didn't scratch it, and then like we go out there and fire slot the head. Jeffrey comes up to the new guys and he's like, "Welcome to the team, boys." <laughs> Time to, go to work. <laughs> Time to go to work. And you can touch it now, by the way. Yeah, we're not worried about scratching the front end. Uh, <laughs> just like I ain't worried about scratching Courtney up when she shows up tomorrow. Jacob just used a 90-degree sander on the peel ply that we had to glue the front end back together with and some rattle can. So if you guys notice the shadow, it's going to look not as pristine at this oh, event. No, no, no. <laughs> when I showed up today, I was like, if beer money was a pro mod, this is it right here. Oh, this, fuck. This, what it, it, Awful. Here's what I can tell you. Two things. One, everything that's under the skirt is a race is is hot rod. Correct. You know, you ever seen like a like a hundred footer, but like got the real deal. All the yeah. chassis is in good shape. Uh, Courtney's, chassis gonna be, good Courtney's shape. gonna be a hundred footer after that tomorrow. tortilla pop yeah. in her mouth. Uh, and when we leave Alabama, it will look brand new again before you guys see it again. I guarantee that. Ryan says if you'll get it here and leave it for a couple weeks, it'll look like it did when you picked it up. So. That's tough. Um, I, man, I was just about to say something awesome, and I forgot what I was about to talk about. Because we got fired up. Edge is a bitch. <laughs> so, crush the, crush the radio world. Uh, I know that I've been really obnoxious on Facebook and Instagram, but not as obnoxious as I'm going to be. I just have been really busy. Like, we, I called Katie, who does our media, and I said, Katie, I need 30 memes done before I wake up in the morning. And I have 30 in the arsenal. It's like a Gatling gun. I, I couldn't said, work for you, man. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I also want to give a huge shout out to everybody that came to Lights Out and bought merch. Everybody that ordered merch online. Um, you guys bought a lot of merch, and I really appreciate it. And I need it. Terribly. I have, um, as soon as you won, and we should have we done it before, and we've all just been like, who's guy's going to do the shirts, yada, yada. My guy here in Oklahoma, he's making us a shake and bake shirt, and we'll just I'll, I don't care if I have to ship it out of my house and I have to do it, whatever. It's coming. It's time. We have Perfect. so we have a whole shake and bake line that we're looking to do on Okay. No, you can do that one too. I just uh, thought we need one and nobody was pulling the trigger. So Well, I have uh we're doing this in tears. I've got another KTR merch drop coming in a month or two. Uh but before that, as soon as you get something done, I don't care, we can do it. Um this is uh we just gotta have off. something. Gotta have they'll it. buy them. Did you see the guy that had you on the shirt at yeah, the Lights Out? Yeah, he was I wish from we had England. a picture of that. We do. Yeah, we had people from England at Lights Out. There we go. There it is. Yep. Ah, yes. I'm with Lyle. Hey, I, the I, there's a signature right now here for me, but that was the picture was taken. We before. had a guy who commented on one of our Flow Racing, like because Flow Drag Racing does it, but Flow Racing shares a few things, and they shared one of your runs, Stevie, where Lyle was being a ballerina. And a couple people commented and was like, Lyle Barnett changed the way that we watched Lights Out this weekend. There was a few. And we have this Slack channel with all the higher ups on Flow. And they were like, uh, Tom Bobalt said, I owe Lyle a yingling or three. And there they go. Every time I try and give them a compliment, they cut out. And they're being super hard on me tonight. So I'm not even going to tell them the compliment. I'm not even going to do it. Yep. Oh, there. What? Thanks, Matt. There was there. Lyle was so great. He called me whenever Stevie won. And uh, we've continued without you. We're yeah, talking about when you called me. You can tell I'm fired up. Put that back up, Matt. 
if you ever want to know if I'm fired up or mad, that I got two veins that look like this in my forehead. When they're out, I'm either excited or I'm about to kill you. And it's one of the two. This is not about to kill you. <laughs> I also, I have a V and it was dubbed my dickhead because it's a nice little vein. So your dickhead's showing, Stevie. Your dickhead was showing. Anyway, uh, I was saying, Tom, oh, shut up, Siri. Oh, my God, Siri just searched for dickhead. Um, yeah, she's looked for that before. The higher um, ups at Florida are saying that they owe you a beer for making that <laughs> such a great deal. Let's go. Yingling light. Hey, look, I muted her mic. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. Silence. <laughs> I don't camera have, off. Every one of you fucking guys who comes on here for a chit, get the fuck out of the room. If they turn my camera off, you leave the stream. Oh, me and Lila get so hammered. I um, hate both of you. <laughs> Brad, NHRA won't let me sell merch there, but I probably will have some. If you come see me and then Nazis don't throw me out, I'll hook you up. Just throw it in Randy Lynch trailer. Uh, well, I'll have, I'm going to have rigs and stuff there. Um, but I mean like for legal, legal Lee, just throw it in Randy Lynch trailer. She used to do your stuff. I told, uh, Don to get us some visors. So we should have some <laughs> visors soon. Thank you for that. Uh, man, I haven't been looking at any comments. Oh yeah. And, and not ripping on him. Uh, here's the deal. This is what I told, um, Jimmy, I told him on the top end and, and this is me for real. This is the, the, for the, for the piece of part of me that you guys don't see. If you talk shit to me, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to put it all the way up in there. But I am. But you having the balls to sit in that lane and bet that money, all them people talking shit about you on the internet didn't have the balls to do that. And I told him, I, I, I never ride anybody hard after a, after I crush them in a grudge race. I don't. You've never seen me. I'll pick on them a little bit. But that man had the bigger balls than the whole rest of the field. And any of them other guys that are scared to sit in another lane. So as far as I see, besides me, he was the baddest motherfucker there. I mean, really. So I don't. I mean, kudos for him for the action, and uh, I'm glad he did it, and I hope he wants to do it again. And they had and that kind of shit drowns up excitement. It 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 goes to show with what we saw in the numbers of flow. People watch that specific round asking this more I'm than sure. anything, and we need more of that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to answer this question in a little bit as soon as we get there. Okay, so um, all right, so we leave lights out. Shadows halfway converted. Crew goes away. I run down I-75 like Forrest Gump with some gas and Colt 45. We get to the track at 6 a.m. this morning, and we worked on the car all day. Uh, there has been a lot of questions about the call-outs, so let's get to I'll just put one of them up. Do you want to go first? Let's be honest. Let's speak frankly here, Lyle Burnett. Do you want to go first? I can't. You can't go first? I can't. Okay. Are you Why? Because I've been talking a lot. No, so you can't. You can't go first? No, I can't. So, <clears throat> as was to be expected, um, my initial call out and who I was requested to race first was J.R. Gray. And I don't know how many times all of you watching or any of you here in this chat today have watched me run J.R. Gray. <laughs> Since we both came into the I'm NHRA. You race it, man. So I'm getting there. So he beat me on a whole shot in Gainesville, our very first race. And since then, that man has got mushroom stamped every time we've sat beside each other in a race car since that day. And I made that. I walk, I mean, I don't. Those of you who don't know me too well, if I get beat on a whole shot or I red light, it is bad. News. Stevie saw <laughs> the bad. other end of a red light at Virginia last year. I had the car to beat. We were low for E1, and I read that it gets 007, I think, in the first round, and it won't. But I told my team, I said, that shit won't happen again, and I can fucking promise you that. And it hasn't. I've taken that man's mortgage payment, and he's got money, but he struggled to pay his bills there for a while. I beat him, like, back-to-back -back months a couple times. One time he cussed me at the top end and sent his wife over to pay his bills. Like, it was fucking bad. So here he declined. The grudge race says I'm bad luck. Oh, he did. Oh, hi, oh, yeah. Clay. Declined. So I was like, you know, I told Wes, I said, I'll run Spencer Hyde. I'll Every time the Canadian is mentioned or comes on the screen, it freezes up. I don't know what kind of voodoo y'all got going on north of the border. What'd you hear? Where'd I cut out? 
you wanted to raise Spencer Hyde. And I said, every time he's come on the screen or been mentioned, it's froze up. I wonder if they're on the roof, like covering up the Starlink. I don't know. are telling the truth. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. You are frozen. Oh, it looks like, like one of the beans. Like one of the, I am. Uh... God dang it. Stevie? What? <laughs> you got it coming, boy. I got right, There coming. we go. So I told Wes I'll run Spencer Hyde. I'll run Jason Harris, PDRA Pro Boost World Champion. I'll run whoever you want me to run. And I didn't really hear anything. And I'm like, well, surely they'll come up with something. Well, lo and behold, dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. the old Decker Salvage Boys come out of left, right field, the basement, <laughs> wherever, and decide that they – and look, and, and I get it, man. I get it been on the outside for a while looking to get in there and and hype it up some but they made a little meme earlier decker's number one fan and just like i told them i'm gonna deliver a whole truckload of southern hospitality and i'm gonna smack you around with it kill them rivals night on friday night mm -hmm. i'm gonna be your biggest fan because i'm gonna be the only one you got left mm -hmm. when i get done the scrap yard the salvage yard is exactly where that thing's gonna go. Hollywood, you ain't getting no star from me on the walkway, son. They're like the nicest people ever. I don't care. You done called me out and I didn't do nothing to you. This it's is over. Because you you invite this kind of energy and people no, want I'm to know. It's always your fault, Lyle. I'm just telling you right no, now. No, it's a good thing. I think that like the way that you handled um JR's last year, even you waving at his thing, like you create these little rivalries. You standing up there with that sign for Stevie, like you create these little pockets of, of fucking energy. Mike Pullen said Decker is fast. That's that's cool. I'm faster from this end of the track and that one down there. So we can bet, and we haven't even talked about it, but we can bet every cone, whatever they want to do. Oh, I they want to know it. But come Friday night, I'm sending the Decker Salvage Camaro back to the salvage yard, a whole truckload of Southern Hospitality just right across that mouth. Go on, Stevie. What do you think I got something to say? Yeah, because I saw you pin it and then you made that face. So go on. <laughs> I haven't said no to you about grudge racing ever. We can you grudge race. Yes. Well, y'all want to race at a race. That's not a grudge race. Y'all want to come run these rule packages and try to like fit in where we fit in. If y'all want to come race, I told y'all. You got to grudge race somebody on Rivals Night. I, 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 if my car runs like I hope it does, I'll run Spencer, but. I'm not going to take a car. I respect him a lot. If I didn't respect him, I would just call I would just say we would just go try it. They got one of the quickest and fastest cars on in the class under the rule package we have to run here, and my car's never been on big tires. So like it's not a good idea to come and pick out on somebody that's really sorted out, that's a good driver and run them in a rules-based race. If y'all want to grudge race, we can do that. Um but we won't be at, we're going to take John Sears and send him out to the Applebee's and we'll grudge race. I'll, if, if my car runs okay, if I even okay to where I think I can do it, I'll, I'll try you. The reason I haven't accepted a call out for Rivals Night is because I want to race you. Want to race him? Yes. I just don't know if I'm there. I, I don't even, in real, real talk, I just hope I qualify for the race. <laughs> like, that's what we were talking about earlier. Everybody's talking about me winning. Ooh, there's another one. That's a win. But also, Mike Carpenter, yes, I was going to get there. They're doing a rerun of last year's final with Spencer and, um, oh, my God, Kurt with Kurt. I'll buy Kurt out of the race. If my car runs like I hope it does, I'll buy Kurt out of the race. It ain't no problem. But in real talk, like everybody, all the fans keep coming, are you going to win here? This is a real deal deal. <laughs> and I'm taking a car that has never rolled on big tires before and running against 30 or 40 of the baddest dudes in the world. I hope we qualify and get the race on Sunday. And that's truth. I was laughing at you. I'm sorry. That was see how she is. Uh, yeah, no. I was just speaking. Y'all doing home. your own thing here. And I finally got a group text from some girls that said that y'all are ganging up on me and they don't know what happened, but they got my back. So here it They're comes. Take too. Well, bring them with you. <laughs> I will. That airplane's got room. But the but the misunderstanding here is y'all are my homies. I ain't trying to fight you. But I that's will. That's not what you said all night. Cause you come in here with a fucking attitude, beard. She wants to right, push push up. In. I just want to do the tortilla thing, and I want to amp it up and make you hate me a little bit. What were you doing? Tortilla thing. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they call it? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Tortilla. Y'all are y'all are real real. Tortilla. Real. You'd appreciate it. 
Anywho, a mouse. <laughs> Mute this motherfucker. <laughs> that's gonna be we a turn, We turned her back. That's we turned her back on. God damn it! Sorry, hey, no, man. So, uh, are, you gonna, uh, are you gonna address that one? Yeah, I'm fixed too. All right, so everyone is asking a uh, tremendous amount of question about if we will race um, Swan Bomb with the Pro Mod. All right. I'm going to try to find the questions. I can actually put it up. Well, like it 50, says 50, 75 times. Um, yes, I did see that we got called out by the by the, the blood money car. Um, let me tell you all a couple of things. First of all, I'm not ever racing my car for $5,000. Ever. Against anybody. I don't care if Daddy Dave or one of the in-laws wanted to come over. I am not racing my car for $5,000. Number two. You have to get your weight up before you get to race a heavyweight. You, I can't go say I'm a professional boxer and just go fight Floyd Mayweather. I have to go beat up 70 guys, and then I have to try to uh, fight some lightweight deals, and then you get, what, a welterweight or something, and then you come up. I'm not giving you guys a free shot with an untested car for five thousand dollars if we grudge race y'all it's gonna be for enough money where one of us is gonna need a psychiatrist on monday and you guys have to prove that you belong to sit beside my car first because right now you don't you haven't done anything you ain't done shit so that's my answer on that did you answer them like did you tell them that no i, I don't I, this I have, is your answer i'm just curious if this was your i answer. have been working for 48 hours and i have not been on the internet so like i saw i got called out and uh, there's a, everybody's been calling me out, but I have been under the back of my car for like 48 hours. Hmm. Well, so there you that go, is, Justin. That is a negative. And I will not run. Keith Haney called me out, wanted to bet $500 a cone. I'm not racing Keith Haney for $2,500 either. I'm not running anybody for $5,000 in the shadow. The shadow, you got Cheap Hooker. What's the, what's the chick on the on the rich with the Richard Gear movie, Pretty Woman? Coordinator. Oh, uh, Julia Roberts. Julia Roberts. Cheap hooker. I'm over here. So if y'all want to sit over here, don't try to bet $5,000. I'm not broke, but one of us is going to be mad. There you go. Well, there you have it. Listen. That ain't no, no. I'm going to answer this one because I'm not a part of this, this grudge this world. Guy who's been talking shit to me forever. And that's fine. And I've ignored it because I'm not a part of this. And I, I've said this a million times. Love him. Hate him. All the things. Stevie Fast serves a purpose. Not Steve Jackson, the person. Stevie Fast serves a purpose in our sport that is extremely necessary. He calls people out. He's like the, the gosh damn it. I can't think of the wrestler guy who always calls people out. Um, anyway, calls them out when it's necessary, but you always back it up. And this is what also I love about it is when you have a reason that you don't want to call somebody out or you don't want to rebuttal somebody's call out, there's an explanation. And this isn't him backing down or a clown response. He's got a reason. And guess what? He's got the car. He's got the money. He's got the team. He's the one doing it. And he gets to decide if there's a reason or not. Look, my dickhead's coming out. I'm getting pissed. Don't. It ain't no clown response. See, now y'all been mean to me. The whole, Oh, look. Somebody screenshot that, please. For the love of God, screenshot that bromance look. Somebody. David, do what you do with it. But anyway, love him, hate him. He serves a purpose. And he will always give a reason to. Like, I think she could win. I, I was still going. Y'all were frozen, and I was still going. No, I, I told him. I said the good thing is we can't hear, but everybody else can. <laughs> so anyway, I'm done, and that shit pisses me off because people say clown response, or you're saying no to races, look, this and that. You have a look, reason. Yeah. You have a rhyme and a reason and a strategy, and you're good for a reason. I want MJ Boy 8790. I want to know which number tech card yours is here, right, so that we that, can race. That's, that's another Don't thing. Like, me a clown. Like, like I tell everybody, <laughs> until you start paying my bills, you ain't gonna tell me how to race my fucking race car. And yep. that's the thing. You can you can say no. Like you all you don't just ignore people or ghost it. You say, here's why. We may not agree with it or we may not want we it. We will but see. We will see after I get some test runs how the bushes look. Good grief, Courtney, get off your knees. That black can we start banning people? I'm getting pissed. I've been trying to get Matt to be able to ban people for 10 years and he can't figure it out. If you if you are a watching this show, and this is why people like our show, because now we're getting to the oh, there's the after it. Our show. <laughs> oh, twin. If you're watching this show, you at least respect the drivers, the men on this okay. show. So shut the fuck up. Um, I don't have to dodge anybody. We're here at the same race. We'll God, take a dang. picture of the qualifying sheet 
and see who's dodging who. I'll bet on that. I just got pissed. You did. And Stevie Fast ain't even my favorite promo driver. Yeah, I hear you. We'll see. We'll, we'll see come Sunday. I am your. Fa- I was rooting for you. I didn't know if I want. I I didn't know what the sport needed. Oh, I didn't not. know what it needed. I'm a Lyle Burnett fan as well. It's, I am a Lyle Burnett fan. Um, I'm, also, I'm somebody had said if y'all run each other, if y'all have to run each other at this race, if Randy Lee doesn't give me the freaking switch for that run, I'm quitting drag racing. I should be. Able I to want to switch. run Lyle in the final, and yeah, we will I, get naked on top of him. We'll, throw, we'll fly up tortillas through the air like frisbees. I'll be in the strawberry patch. <laughs> Neck it. Yeah. Um, I don't understand the hate that's still coming at me after this week. <laughs> like, if you're a racing fan and you're still mad at me oh, after what we just did, and I'm not saying we did some great thing for the sport, but if you were at Lights Out, that was a lot of work to get that many people there. Like, just open your eyeballs. I'm not – all of you I like, that I like this, I like this response right here. Oh man, wrong one. Yeah, I, I like that one. Courtney, check your messages. That's my favorite. Oh, I got, I got Thanks, plenty. Tommy, I appreciate oh, it. I was glaring at each other like this. <laughs> we need to, we need to be able to send the fans some money, like a, the super deal that they do us. Courtney, check your messages. Um, I got it. Says, a tortilla I just said, um, and here's the other thing for the basement dwellers, all right, that are. <laughs> that are on your neighbor's Wi-Fi. Have you ever considered that maybe I'm not the complete asshole that you think I am on the internet, that maybe I'm just trying to make you spend some money in our sport? That's what I mean. Stevie Fast is not Stevie ja- Steve Jackson. He plays a part. I have never, ever name. yet, I've never yet spent time with people that hate me that after I talked to them, they didn't say, man, you're a really cool dude. I am sorry. I thought you were such an asshole. You understand I, your role in the sport. You play into it, and you don't care what people think about you while you're being that guy. Elite on oh, – what does that mean? That has I nothing do. to do with anything. We don't even do that shit anymore. I think he knows where he's – uh, He doesn't know. Twin, twin Turbo, could you clarify that comment for me so I can – because they don't. Sure. The elite pro, the elite pro mod program is very not there. No, no, no. I, I don't. No, I just was curious. Not, not even, I was just curious if you could clarify saying. that. So I just want to make sure I aim at your rectum before I, before I turn loose. And um, also, that good point, David. Um, before I forget, and I know we'll mention it again, but while we're riled up, you want to take this same energy and come to the Double O Shit Show trailer at four p.m. on Friday. Let's go. We'll all three. Yeah, all uh, MJ MJ Blowjob Boy seventy nine eighty or whatever. Come to the Double O Shit Show trailer. Four uh, also, also, I want to give a huge shout out to Doug Cook from Motion Race Works for making all of this possible. And, and Lyle will say this: Doug's a great dude. He's vested in our sport. Do you know how hard it is for someone to want to sponsor me? Like, because I can wreck your company's image in like an hour. Having a guy, it's in my contract that I have to be me. Like, you know how many contracts I've had with companies that say, (laughs) that say, you cannot say this. You cannot do this. This costs you dollars if you say this. Doug's contract stipulates that I be Stevie Fast, I give it to you the way I want to give it to you, and I say what I think. And, and if that's we could what this, that's Doug what in our sport, we would be a better place. And that Thank is you. why more people watched that Lights Out race than they have watched any radio race in the history of us having that. It is, I have been hunting a, a, a company that supports <laughs> me that thinks like I do, and I b- believe me, Doug Cook thinks like I do. It's going uh, to be dangerous. It'll change the game. I mean, people. Doug is the Doug's the future of the sport, Absolutely. and people like Doug are the future of the sport. Like he's the next generation. Well, he gets it. We need we bitch about this all the time. A lot of the stuff with the pro thing was like the personalities have been lost. We're concentrating on race cars, this and that. The personalities is what made this stuff great, and that's why we like races like this. So why people and sponsors try and stifle it is beyond me. That's a, another reason why this show is successful. And other shows, they tell the news. This show is real. Like this, is what our sport needs. It's yearning for it. And Stevie Fast is giving it to him. If you think I'm on my knees or swinging from something, then I reckon the fuck I am. Mm. Man, we get the comments for hot. I'm fucking mad. <laughs> He's up now. Did anybody else? He's up now. Oh, I don't want. Oh, now you're telling me to ease up? All right, so we're about to get somewhere. Um, 
do, do, do. Oh, we got a compliment, compliment on Flow Racing. Oh, that's something else I wanted to talk about earlier. All the negative comments about if I'm going to pay $150 a year, it should be oh, perfect. Thank you, Scott. Like, how, I mean, how do you expect that? What does that mean? We spent, there's at least 10 of us on there, on, on site every weekend. <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. That's not it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We better scroll down. <laughs> but I don't I don't understand what people expect. Like they think it's free to like but, put this on. But they think that just because they pay for it, it should be perfect. Like here's I don't I deal. thought it was great. And here's the deal. Believe yeah, me, there's, there's, I have my issues. issues. I have my issues with flow, just there's like everybody things. else. I think that they do a great job at some things, not a not a good job at some things. But listen, and this is from a competitor. I spend about two million dollars a year drag racing cars. All right, mostly to entertain you guys. If you can't spend one hundred fifty dollars to support the sport, then watch tennis. We ain't making a ton of money doing this. Like I mean, even if we're making a ton of money, we gotta invest in our sport. And watch right? a few dirt races. Get your money's worth. Watch a few dirt races. But Man, also what what we were saying about we had a we had a mega issue right before your grudge race the freaking stream went down like hadn't gone down all weekend oh you my god you think it was cheetah related do you think uh you think uh the street in laws hijacked i don't feed i don't know but i'm sitting on my couch and i had a an absolute meltdown <laughs> meltdown but you gotta you gotta take it into consideration i don't say this because i work there i say this because i know what goes on now somebody somebody moves the power light switch in the tower everything goes down if that internet goes down there's a lot of things yes we take the brunt of it but before you start sending courtney enders at flow whatever my email is absolute hate mail like just try and remember when you run your business and a few things go wrong shit happens we held the race up we made it happen it's a lot that goes into the live streaming and anybody who's been on here and i'm going to keep going while they're just chuckle fucking anybody who's been on here knows the integrity of the stream has increased tenfold in the last two years. So just hang on. We're working on it. We're working on it. I can't address it. Are y'all done? Tell me which one. I'm so left out. Uh, uh, I was. I got completely sidetracked. I was about to talk shit about somebody. Um, oh man, hold on. Uh, oh, anyways, all you guys that keep talking shit to Annette Summer, don't uh, do it. <laughs> don't do it. I'm just telling you. Don't do it. Leave Annette alone. Don't do it, dude. I'm scared of her. Don't do it. Matt, Matt, if you can figure out how to ban blowjob 8790, do it. Yeah, let's just get him out of here. And Black Betty, too. Get him out. Oh, I, uh, Black Betty back? I yeah, can't Black bring Betty was the one who said I was on my knees. Believe me, I wish I could come run Yellow Bullet. It is. I love, Last time I ran Yellow, Yellow Bullet, I crashed, and my daughter was two weeks old. But it's at the weekend of U.S. Nationals, and it just kills yeah. me. Because That's believe funny. me, I'm a Yellow um, Bullet fan. Like they do a great job that and, and I definitely wish I could come. Well, regardless how much shit they're talking, they're still watching. They are watching. Thanks for the views. We love you. We appreciate the views. Um. All right. What a. Uh, well, Steve, rubbing your leg. Yeah. Or is he rubbing? What am I rubbing? What do you like? Rubbing, are y'all rubbing each other's legs under the table? Oh, yeah. What do so you I'm like doing. to know? Yeah, you're in Texas. A little bit. I'm a little jealous. What about your new sponsor? We still have. I got to tell you all, Shake and Bakers, if you're coming to World Series of Pro Mod, we have yet to have a Shake and Baker get a photo with the three of us. I don't know what we need to give a person that gives it, but it's been so long. The bounty's out. Nobody has a photo with the three of us. What is the bounty? Is it pay anything? It, it I'm saying, pay. I don't know what the bounty is. Yeah, we gave away all the flasks. I'll give you some blowed up shadow cylinder heads or something. Uh, I'll somebody. So I've got buyherplants.com. Oh, yes. We got a new sponsor. And right commercial products on board for the World Series of Pro Mod. Um, the buyherplants.com deal has been something we've been working on for, for a while now. And um, You banned him? He banned him. I saw it. MJ Boy That's good, man. That's why you don't mess with the internet, nerd. Very excited to have them on board this weekend. For any of you coming to the World Series of Pro Mod. <laughs> Sorry, Lyle. Keep going. He doesn't mean to interrupt. Right. It's beautiful. <laughs> For any of you guys coming with your other dude friends, the World Series of Pro Mod that are leaving your wives at home, buy her. You go, uh, go on there. Also, bring your wife. Racing's cool. I like racing. Yeah, but that's not how this works. You know, there's going to be a bunch. Oh, of mine is not normal. No, no. But anyway, 
um, <clears throat> for the right commercial products deal, I need you guys. There's 2,300 of you on here right now. Uh, go, and we're going to get their deal up, right? To go we to my Instagram yep. and Facebook page and just follow them. Like them. Do what you got to do. I'm trying to get them on for the entire uh, pro-mod career or pro-mod season career. career too. But I need you guys' help. So uh, write MFG. Uh, they're on Instagram and uh, write commercial products on Facebook. Go follow them and like them. I need it. Twin Turbo 50 Cal. I just got a couple of texts saying we got to get. Heat. Now that we know how to ban you bitches. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be bad. <laughs> oh, our 2300 is about to be like 400. We don't well, care. We're here for the shaking bakers, though. We ain't here for no shit. I'm going to send you a spreadsheet after the show. And no, the best. No, I ain't. No, there's some oh, yeah, converted there were, comments there about me tonight. Uh, yeah, I'll let y'all. Oh, oh yeah, we okay. You talking about the RVW deal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, did we announce the Donald was supposed to announce the deal when it was and stuff? Yeah, but he did. Okay, yeah. Donald said he was gonna announce when the No Rules race was going to be. I think the race itself was so big, and believe me, I'm telling you, I don't know how the track staff at SGMP manages to do that race. Like, we go to bed at 1 or 2 o'clock, and they're still up. Yeah. And when we wake up at 7, they're at work. And, like, I, don't, I just don't know how they do it. So, like, it was a really big deal. I don't know when that's going to happen, uh, but I, you do not want to not bet on a shadow on the unlimited RVW race ever. Because the shadow's built for that. You, ain't, you can't do it. You just can't do it. Okay. Y'all got too much LBs, okay. not live barnets, pounds. Did you do your hair to come here today? Did you go see your hairstylist? No, this is day three. It wasn't for us. It's day three. I went to the gym yesterday. I went to the gym today. I slept in braids last night. And the reason I put it up was because these looked funky by my face. It just happened to look good. This is not a thing. Shit, that's the wrong comment. Uh, Thank you, Sully. I appreciate it. And I still think I owe you some money. So let me know if I still do. I got to send it to you. I think I'm I better football. I'm on cloud three, by the way. Uh, you scared of hot Cheeto Swan? He done made his. Uh, uh, no, that's never happened and never will. Not ever. Not ever. Ever in life. Ever. I'll never have anything that slow. Uh, do do. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to answer this. Damn. I missed it. The comments are coming up so fast. Oh. All right. So. We have, um, oh, we've been having an outpouring of folks that missed the beast. So, for those, did you find Rob? No, I'm still in my head. You got some things you want to say? Is that Jeffrey? Yeah. Tell Jeffrey. Tell Jeffrey. Hey, are you getting, hey, you getting, you getting natural? Yeah. I'd like to sit down if you got Show his face. Tell him to show his face. So, this is all natural. What's up, bitch? Hey, Courtney. Hey. Hey. Spicy tonight, like the hair looks nice, doesn't she? She, she got it all dolled up. Jeffrey, they're what? picking, they're ganging up, and they're picking on me. Hey, are you wearing pants? Why is everybody always picking? You're not wearing pants. I'm wearing a, it's a it's a onesie situation. Okay. Do you you say, you I am not the kind of gal that stands up and turns Wait around. Wait a second. Do you have all? I'm do not, you have on your? You would uh, do it if I didn't ask you to. Do you have on your English teacher? May froze. Why did it froze at the most inconvenient times? Yeah, I don't know if it's convenient or inconvenient. It depends on what you're in your stamp sitting on. Um, anyways, we always, if you last time you were wearing red hot pants, it, you would stand up and turn around if I didn't ask you. The time before that, she was wearing her English teacher's skirt. That yeah, I'll have little... you know, I'll have you know, Lyle Burnett, I cleaned out my closet <laughs> last week. Look at my refrigerator. Wow, wow, yeah, wow. yeah. Yeah, I cleaned out my <laughs> I cleaned out my closet last weekend. There's no, nobody buys me and food. I threw that skirt out. Jody, I die. You threw it away. I mean, I'm saying you do, <laughs> but I'm saying in here, nobody. Buys you, me. as I was tossing oh, yeah, it, or as I'm picking them out, I'm hey, like, you get out of that thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> Courtney threw that skirt away. I gave her so much shit about english teacher skirt i cleaned out i cleaned out two huge black like 50 gal trash cans. i'm pretty sure i pretty vividly remember my english teacher reading me to kill a mockingbird in that same skirt hey all right courtney stand up and see what you got no i showed y'all what i had this week 
This is a this is a one piece dress. Skirt. I don't I don't believe you. I think you have on a moo. I ain't the kind of girl that stands up and turns around. No, you don't have on a You you definitely won't stand up and turn around. Dude, do really not good. do that. Do not stand up and turn around. Also, I love that you think I'm just stupid. No, I'm good. It is a Lululemon skirt situation. You play tennis? It does look like a tennis skirt, but I'm I'm doing just fine. I got my slippers on, and I'm doing just fine here. You got the gun show. I bet you're a terrible tennis player. Yeah, I'd kick shit out of you. I'm actually a good pickleball player. I'm a fucking hustler. I believe that. I do have the gun show. I've been working. Balls. <laughs> nah, Rob Goss ain't on here yet. Nowhere to be found. Right, Dan Parker said we need a description for the blind kid on the skirt. Well, listen, blind kid, ain't nobody Which with one? eyeballs seeing him. You wore like four, five, six months ago. Was like ankle length, floral, exactly what you would think your English. Hey, how's would the wear. chassis come along? Is it like? And she threw it away. I tossed it. I said yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, you don't put two. One's one's long, yeah, one short. Are you eating a Cheeto? One on it. Yeah. Is only one all right, all right. Like, I mean, like, what do you mean only this car? The, it Steve, fits you're a on a podcast. Huh? We're talking about important shit right now. What are you want to talk about? Oh, my God, there's a loose dog outside. Poor oh, my God, there's a loose dog. On the, on the oh, different or no. the front? It's to oh, the, the no. longer or something? When you Who's it, put on there. Oh, just, she disappeared. I fully expect you got to swap it back. That there would be a loose horse outside or cattle. Oh, I did move it forward. There's a puppy dog outside. Damn thing. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet your dog? Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog? Hit that back of the What are you talking about? Nitro. Sorry. Oh, Nitro. Oh, sorry. Daughter will only let me take my dog to the track. So we started talking about chassis and pulling and stuff. Cheetos started flying around natural life. My daughter will only let me take my dog to the track. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. That's a good one. I'm glad I got that. <laughs> um, my daughter will let me bring Nitro to the track if we're gone for five days or less. So when we're gone for these long times, I don't get to bring them in. I'm sorry. Uh, the beast will be here soon. You're again. Is that your story? ZZ Top fan, I can't tell if you're talking shit or if you're being funny. So well, let know, me know. Small, the thing will go so long, you don't ever put gas in it. You forget about Who, it. Who ran out of gas and like even made fun of it? Somebody did. I had to go. I had to walk five miles. That's why I didn't get it till four. He didn't. He didn't just run out of gas and like somebody came to help him. <laughs> this motherfucker right here ran out of gas. Look like Forrest Gump running up beside of 75. I had a Colt 45 and two zigzags. All right. So, all right. Sorry, this is, we're not actually long. We're actually pretty good. Um, You want to do some Q&A? Sure. Yeah, we're kind of long. Courtney, do you have to say anything? I do believe I've said enough. I want to know if ZZ Top guy is talking shit or being funny. Yeah, but I've seen a couple, man. I've seen a couple. I was just wondering. Matt, will you post a couple pictures of the epic low country bowl that Nate Prater put on? Man, oh, fit, please. I, I, I've completely screwed this whole deal up. There's a whole bunch of companies that have really worked around the clock. Ooh, it looks tasty. Mm, look at that thing. It was 150 pounds of crab. Look at this shit. Yeah, it's pretty This is pretty all sweet. Nate Prater and Streetcar Bragging Rights. If you watch Lights Out, there was a Streetcar Bragging Rights class, quarter mile streetcar deal. Nate Prater put this whole deal on in Kenny Hubbard's pit, and it was unbelievable. 150 pounds of crab legs. You know we, Nate Prater from my hometown. We've talked about Nate before, but like <laughs> up and coming, fantastic promoter, pays attention to little details like that. Like his shit Four is four. off the chain. Yeah, it was unbelievable. I wish I could have come to Burnouts for Kids, man. So you, can, um, you can, you just won't because you're. No, I had, my best friend got married in Florida. I went to my best friend's wedding. It was a little bit important. Uh, thank you to all the companies yeah. and the people that have worked around the clock to get the shadow back on the racetrack. There's a whole lot of stuff where a lot of companies had to drop a lot of a lot of stuff that they were doing um, and work around the clock. And these are really good. I really appreciate all of them. Really Nate Prater's one of them. Sentimental. Well, I'm just saying, like 
you don't build a car and come out and do this without a lot of people Hi, that know what they're doing that is helping you. Everybody thinks Stevie Fast come do that. I'm just a tip of the sword. You definitely need a little time with your dog because you are being it's a little much. I was little fine much. until y'all came in hot together and made me jealous and felt alone over here. What about me? Yeah, Jeff's here with you. You're there too. Okay, everyone all right. Let's I, everyone I care about is at that racetrack right now. All right, let's say give a honky rocket update. You guys, what you got, Matt? Wait, Matt was about to speak. Let Matt speak. Yeah, that's why I was. I'm about to get another Cheeto. Huh? I'm Matt, in the same boat. Matt, can you post the thing I sent you? What are you in the same boat on? Yeah, I already posted it. Huh? Yeah, we did that, Jeffrey. Oh, yeah. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Honky Rocket update. The reason you guys haven't seen any aviation stuff is because the Honky Rocket almost killed me uh, about a month ago, and I haven't flown it again. Like right, for real? Yeah. So, I yeah, I sent the Honky Rocket in for an annual and sent it in to get some paint touch up. They scoped the engine, the paint shop, uh, touched up the leading edges and the elevator. All right. I took my man, Peter, uh, one of my best friends in life, and the guy that actually taught me how to fly down there to pick it up. I don't even know if the NTA, the feds may call me about this. Um, I'm let's serious. Not, let's not do that. But what? Fuck it. So just, there was an incident. So some company had the autopilot pitch servo arm on backwards. Um, the honky rockets a 315 knot, which is about a 410 mile an hour carbon fiber experimental it's fast. airplane. It's, fast. Uh, it's, it's a death trap. Like it, it, it's a motor and a wing. Like it's just like me. Like it's, it's, it's a, it's its own type of thing. Right. Um, so we took off and on the autopilot at the altitude we were supposed to at 200, uh, 2000 feet. We're doing about 200 knots already. And the plane pitched 90 degrees to the ground and stalled. Um, <laughs> I got the autopilot disconnected. And then the aircraft has a, a system that when it thinks you're doing something stupid, it takes over for you to help you, which is a good thing unless the pitch servo is upside down. <laughs> So then the deal um, goes into a lot of oscillation and then some stuff happens and we are 400 feet off the ground before I got it. If Peter wasn't in the plane, definitely lights out. Uh, I could not get the autopilot circuit breaker off because I could not let go of the controls. Um, it was bad. It was a were very, very... Were you calm? Huh? Were you panicked or were you calm? Uh, you don't have time to be panicked, but you are panicked. So okay. like you fly the aircraft all the way to the crash. Like that's, that's what you do. Um, one of the bad things is my, so like as a pilot, I carry a survival knife in my, right up under my nut belt. So it's got a knife and a screwdriver and something to break the window and cut the seat belt If anything ever happens, <laughs> well, the plane was disoriented enough that the the blade came out and it bounced off the roof and stabbed Peter in the face. So blood is going everywhere. We are Shut trying. Up. It's bad. It's bad. Um, we I gathered this thing up right over the trees. We came in. The plane's out of control. We landed it and I drove it straight into the hangar and we figured out what's happening. Yeah. Fixed it. And flew it home, uh, but we haven't flown. I haven't flown it since. I it, it has got me uh, shook up. Let's just say shook up. Okay, so, but you can't let it win. So when are you flying it again? When do you want to go? I'll, no, I'll, I'll I'll watch on flow. Yeah, I might be out on the honky. <laughs> you got it fixed though. How many it was times fine. have you invited me on the honky ronky? How many times have I gone? This many. Phil Schuler flew in the honky rocket with me. I flew in the hog rocket with you. And it was fine, right? Dude, it's I like every time. didn't tell us this. I thought we were your friends. Oh, well, y'all are. I haven't told you all. But since then, all I've done has been racing, and I haven't had time to go flying. So I've flown some other stuff, but I haven't flown the rocket. I will get back in the rocket. It looks nice. Um, and uh, so that's the honky rocket update. Well, fuck. That was intense. It was intense. Like, if you've seen Top Gun, like, it was some Top Gun shit yeah. going on. Were you inverted, given the bird? 
Super. Full at about two meters off the trees. Here's what I can tell you. If Peter Smith wasn't in that aircraft with me, I would not have made it out. I can tell you that 100%. And I don't think if I – I don't think any solo pilot could have recovered. I I, I don't say any. Thank God for circumstance and Peter. It would have taken a a pretty serious – it would have taken a pretty serious deal. There was too much to go on. I could not work the throttle. I couldn't get the throttle and the airspeed and stuff at the same time. I know the FAA is calling. Like, they're definitely calling. Everything I just said was a lie. None of that happened. Well, it's all for entertainment. This is an entertainment show. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the air conditioner in here is for real. You can go turn it off right there. That's what they do. It's set on 69. Is you called? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's called over 69. You see that? All right, let's take some Q&A, and then we're going to smoke out of here. we got World Series of Pro Mod going on. All right, let's see. Da, da, da. Uh, hey, you got to open this before you drink. <laughs> okay, Ronnie updates. Uh, we got down to where we were doing brake lines on Ronnie. Um, they back ordered the brake line kit for it. Uh, we have not worked on it. Believe me, getting the shadow to the racetrack and getting our Artovinko team ready to go to Gainesville has eaten up all of the time in my life. So we haven't messed around with it much. Um, I saw, I've seen this guy ask this a few times, um, about the Texas fall nationals. I will be there. I don't think pro mods coming it's cold, man. to it's Dallas. Cold. So I think it'll, it'll be cool. right there on the right where it says cool. Click that bad boy to off. Both of them things. There you go. Texas Fall Nats. Yeah, I see you. I'll be there. I'll be at the Texas Fall Nats. I know I picked the uh, Ultra Street winner correct. Who, Jack Stan? No, man. I picked Brian Keith. Okay. Who, uh, who, what, I don't know who we picked in pro. Nobody picked Tim Dutton and he stomped him. He kicked the shit out of him. Yeah, he did. He did stomp him. Oh, my, my little book. Is oh, the me. yellow jacket. That was actually a thought that people were trying to make me look like Bryn Sancucci, but uh, that was actually part of the trophy. It's got lights out. Uh, winter on it was pretty cool. Bama Outlaws in March. Yes, the shadow will be back on radial tires and in steel. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be awesome. Um, Stevie, are you having fun being back in the driver's seat? Yeah. It's, I'm, I'm having more fun being me. Like Good. I see it. I, when I said he's back to fighting weight, I meant like the whole package. But you, what you got to what you got to understand is it takes the circumstances to do that. Sydney Frigo and Artovinko allows me to be me. Doug Cook in motion allows me to be me. Uh, so it just takes the, the the right mix of folks. Like Sydney's a cool dude, man. How many people are gonna let you run their whole program and be as big a dumbass as I am on the? He internet? is a cool dude. Like it, it's a cool deal, and I appreciate that. Uh, yellow jacket. Um, I saw Whoa. a question for me. Two mountain motor cars. Um, Bo Butner's racing one. Randy Lynn is testing this weekend. I believe she's going to race the second one all year. We'll we'll, we'll see. Uh, last is Lyle. How fast you go today? Today I went three sixty five. Three sixty five. That's pretty good. I went no sixty five because I didn't even start. Nate. Really Nate, as long as as long as it doesn't fall on PRI, I'm I'm there. I swear. I got no more friends left to get married. <laughs> um, I will not be driving in Gainesville. We have all of our push in NHRA surrounding uh, Sydney Frigo and our Art of Eco team, and we'll be there competing uh, with that. I will not be driving. How about that entry list for Gainesville? Come on, 26, 25, 26 cars, real race cars. Come on. Go. That's pretty cool. Um, I remember three years ago, we stood in that meeting. You were there, and we were wondering how to get 12 to 14 to 16 cars. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes money. It's back. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know. Shout out to Finish Line Consultants and Debbie O'Rourke um, about yes. the work that they have done. She and they have done uh, behind the scenes to keep NHRA Pro Mod not only healthy, uh, but to make it grow, it's hard to make a class right now that's that at that level grow at the pace that it is. I think we're up forty or fifty percent from last year entries. Like that's Debbie a big. Rourke is one of the hardest working women I've ever met in my life. So um, for everybody that works behind the scenes to bring this deal back, Gainesville is going to be absolutely on fire. I feel like we kind of didn't even do, talk about that because of the. Well, we got another. Ra- well, no, we don't. Those make show before Gainesville. Woo. Well, we'll do a we'll do a post show. Yep. Look at Hi, Selena. I see. Uh, the new Pro Mod. If everybody keeps asking about the orange car, so I built that thing as a clone to Charlotte. That thing is 
um, bar for bar the same race car as Charlotte. Um, and I did that when I didn't have a car. I don't know when you'll see it on the racetrack. Um, and I'm not even sure what its role will be. Uh, it, it was built originally for me to race NHRA Pro Mod. It'll probably end up being a KTR customer support race car, uh, one that's for lease. Um, and it may end up getting sold. I have a lot of people that want to buy it uh, for a lot. So uh, it may get sold and built again. I don't know, I don't know what we're going to do with it. Right now, um, all my focus is on running this race and then NHRA Pro Mod uh, with Sydney. So... I haven't really it's sitting there and ready for me to work on it. I just got to go spend some time on it, but I am excited about it. She looks good. Rick and this, his boys did a good job. Oh yeah. Jody gets her first hard card. It's all downhill from there, Jody. Charlotte was not temperamental. Charlotte is the best quarter mile pro mod I've ever touched. She was fast. How many championships she she won? Won? Uh, three now. I won two. I guess a lot of Scott won with it. I'd say it's a winning as pro mod. Uh, grudge races this week. There's a lot of grudge races. Um, I don't we're gonna, know. We're going to put out like a list of the rivals night here soon when we get it all sorted out. Um, if Mike Carpenter's still watching, we'll work on that. <laughs> uh, right now, we are not building that car. We need new merch. I just come out with like a billion dollars worth of merch. Um, we got four new design shirts, about 10 tank tops. 15 hoodies and 30 hats. So if you haven't been to stevefast.com. <laughs> Is there like a slice of cake coupon code or something? Nope. Oh, I got to pay full retail? Plus yeah. 10%. Yeah. Oh, well, I ain't fucking wearing it then. The stevefast.com for all your merch <laughs> yeah, needs. You we have our full line of apparel here. I think we sold out of Shadows and 2X and stuff here, but we're reprinting um, like around the clock. So we have our full merch line here at World Series of Pro Mod, minus just the sizes that we're out of. Come see us and uh, watch me smack the shit out of Courtney with a tortilla on Friday. Boop, 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 boop. We have to figure out what what kind of charity we're giving to there because we could. That's a thing. Whatever charity supports rebuilding you. Mm. Mm, what that means. I'll give you the old flutter blink. I got some flutter blink for you, bud. I'll see you tomorrow. You'll be my second stop. Um, this so Spencer. <laughs> not far from me, but I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> so, Joe, it depends on what you're trying to do with it. You oh, will I end got the rivals night deal. You'll end up with north turnkey of about four hundred to 500 if you want to come 450 is probably pretty 452 thousand dollars is what i have budgeted if you want to run up front for a turnkey pro mod it's kind of crazy really but that's what it costs and that's a brand new brand new i call it snooter to pooter snooter to pooter snooter to pooter um turnkey deal ready to burn in um so i guess they already did the rivals night um graphic i'm a little behind so there it is um, the Aguilero stuff's pretty cool. I don't I think it's. I, I don't know if they'll let everybody continue to do that because if you start, it just depends. It's a rabbit hole, but it is cool. Chris Daniel School's bad. Uh, Chris Daniel Scar's badass. It is pretty cool. We do a lot of that in aircraft, so it's good. <laughs> just like y'all are still on here. Courtney's keeping us on here because she won't stand up. Yeah. Want the real Courtney Andrews? Please stand up. Please stand up. We'll close her out. All right. Let's see. Spencer and Lyle are going to a titty bar. I get, let, let me tell you. Hold up, hold up right there. There's a lot. Oh, of look, look, look. There's a lot of places that you may see Lyle Barnett. That ain't one. Of them. That ain't one of them. I can't afford it. I got to buy some more birth panels. Uh, price per pass. What drives the cost up oh, on a you. on a pro mod car is not really running the car; it's the employees. Um, yeah, it depends on how you pay people as to as to do that, but it's it's twenty five hundred dollars to three thousand dollars a run over the course of a season, depending on how many employees you have. Um, uh, I should be in Rockingham. Everybody keeps asking, is, are they talking about the RVW? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be there. I have to look at the schedule. Donald asked me, and, and my plan is to come. Um, it's gross to keep asking her to stand up. Okay, yeah, Courtney, do not stand up. It's gross. I'm Don't. not. I wasn't from the start, but Morgan, appreciate you, girl. 
sit down. It was the inside joke about the red pants, but sit down. Do not ever stand up. No. It's like when a man tells you to smile. I ain't smiling. Don't smile. Frown. Yeah. Pick your boogers. Yep. And Clay is right. People are your most important asset. One thing I have learned over the last 18 months is good folks make your program and bad folks crash it. So it's uh, people definitely are your most important Andrew asset. Andrew Pollard, right manufacturing, right commercial products. Uh, they make the dirt. Yellow and black make the lawnmowers. That's who you need to follow. Yeah. Um, what was that? Who asked about Chad? Uh, I don't know if I can get the Buick to run any faster. Uh, we're going into warmer weather. Like when that thing went 85, I really think I home run balled it. Like they put four pistons in it. Like it, you know, we're, we're running that thing really hard. Um, there's probably some ET maybe to have in the middle, but the thing went 982. Like for an LDR car, that's licking the candy off the Tootsie Pop. Um, so maybe, but it just when it gets warm, it's going to go slower. All I care is that it's quick relative to the field. I see um, Scott Palmer and Brandon Pez are running at Rivals Night. That should be fun. Yeah, that's going to be good. That'll be a good deal. Rivals Night's going to be off. Todd Tudero, Ricky Smith, Spencer Hyde, Kurt Stedding, Tommy Franklin, Marcus Butner. That'll be good. Derek Ward, Mike Decker third. That'll be good. Preston and Melanie. Alex Laughlin, Jason Scruggs. Jake Marcus Burke, Keith Haney. That was the one I was looking for. Marcus Burke, Keith Haney. There it is. Travis Harvey and uh, Jason Harris going to be a good one. Travis Harvey and Jason Harris is going to be great. Um, that's not true. That's not true, Sullivan. I warmed up the Greeks car in 2017 before Courtney ever said that was pretty shake and bake. Well, I don't care. We'll let the, um, yeah. Lyle, was somebody's name to follow? Did you answer that? Yeah. Okay. Um, how bad did the shadow get torn? The wheel stand did not tear the shadow up when it. So when it broke a retainer and dropped a valve in the final, that tore up the body. The chassis is fine. Chassis is great. It split the front end in about five places. So when you guys see it. It's got some rattle can and some tape and some crap on it, but she'll be all right. Why are we doing cornhole steel? Uh, I mean, if we do, it'll just be something like small in the pits. I'm not doing – I can do about two of those tournaments a year, man. That's all I got in me. It was a, it's a lot of work. What did, I, what did I tell you on the phone that night? I don't know if you remember. I said, Gary Pritchett's retiring. Somebody has to be the new social manager of drag racing, and I feel like that's you, so you better step up. I feel like you better step I'm up. Clear. GP's out, LB in. I only had a few beers. <laughs> oh, no, we're just naturally on the chip tonight. And here's the thing, Brad. They're fueling off of each other. They're sitting over there together, and they're fueling off of each other. Wow, what fajita restaurant are we going to do next weekend? Because we're not. Mexican bowl. You want to talk about a Mexican bowl? I don't. I want to talk about how I'm about to go eat dinner. Yeah, I'm fucking hungry. I got a pizza I'm about to put in the oven. Speaking of go and put my last three torque bowls. Yeah, it sure would be cool if you Canadian bake it. We could all go to dinner, you know, down here in Florida. Be awesome. Where's one? He's but like there you are. right next to you. He's a grown ass man. Going, go bro. knock on his door. He'll answer. Him and his Canadians are out there drinking. I'm sure right now. What does that even mean? They're watching in the pit. I know it. What? Well, we are. We're, all I'm, right. I'm gonna ask her. No, don't do it. What? <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for watching Shake Make Show. Look forward to seeing Lyle Barnett kick some ass, Stevie Jack kick some ass, and Courtney actually leave Texas and come in there. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you. We love you. Uh, thank you for all the support. Matt, roll the beautiful bean footage. <laughs>